Yeah. What's up, people? It's a guru. Welcome to Channel Keep It Real Wrong and Cut. Today's topic, Milkman Edition. That's right, Milkman Edition. We're making the hell out of this series before it leaves. Naruto tag. Um, it's going to be a hyper heart tag, you know what I'm saying? And what this means is, I'm going to tag a few uh, anime uh, YouTube reviewers or they discuss whatever anybody in the YouTube anime community that does videos and um, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tag at the end of this video I'm gonna go in the state what this tag is about all right we gonna pick you can pick either two to four different times Naruto the series or manga whichever you know either or gave you Something that struck you in the heart, you know what I'm saying? If it struck you in your heart, it made something emotional, made you cry, tear up, made you you happy, made you think. Something that just struck you emotionally, eternally. That's the heart part. Or and or you could do the hype, you know, something that's got you on your feet like a it is something epic happened. You like jump like yo, you know, gave you the 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 fangasms, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean, hyper heart. Um this is my tag. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop the um the gate. I'm gonna do four. I'm gonna do uh two from the Naruto uh the first series, and I'm gonna do two from Shippuden. All right, let's go. All right, my first one. It's gonna be a kind of a two and one. Um, I got the feels, and I got a hype off of this one, man. So, yo, when Naruto, when I first started watching the series, it was just kind of eh, okay to me. We got me into the series. This is the point when I actually became okay. There's something to the series, man. It's when Naruto and Sasuke was fighting. Um, they were all fighting. Uh, Team Seven rather was fighting Zabuza and Haku. And Haku had the boys. Was about he just uh, finished off Sasuke, man. Sasuke like he looked like he was about to die. And uh, Naruto looked down on him. Uh, Sasuke jumped in front of Naruto to keep Naruto from getting hit by those uh, needles or whatever. And Naruto was still like, you know, he's been jealous of Sasuke at that time, and he was trying to measure up to Sasuke. And he still was feeling kind of down and stuff, even though he act like he had all that, um, you know, bravado and stuff, height and so much confidence in himself. He still was, you know, felt that he was less than people because the way he'd been treated all his life. And he looked at Sasuke and told Sasuke, like, well, you know, like, why did you do this? You know, why did you do this for me? Because he felt like Sasuke was somebody so high and he was so lowly. And that's the first time anybody actually, like, died for him you know what i'm saying so he was like why would somebody die for somebody lowly as me or whatever put himself in this much peril for me and sasuke kind of told him you know like i didn't even think my body just moved you know and sasuke is feeling some kind of way he wouldn't tell him enough to say look you're my friend that's why i did it for you but he doesn't you know it's still sasuke trying to be the bad boy emo you know like kind of saying man you know you're a loser whatever he said something smart i forgot what he said to him and Naruto was like, you know, I didn't tell you to do this for me, you know, because then he started feeling that shame, like, why'd you, you know, and then he looked up Haku's and that, then that, that the demon fox started coming out of him, and that, that look on his face, he looked all dark and sinister and stuff, man, and the series just changed for me, then. I was like, yo, what, there's something to the series, I didn't know it was going to be like this, man, it, it was a different type of series all of a sudden, man, the, the demonic look on his face, and he was like, I'm going to kill you, and he, he had little sharp ass teeth and stuff, and the fox coming out, and I was like, yo, and it like went off and I was hyped. I was so mad for that cliffhanger, man, because I wanted to see more. I want to see more, man. That, that, that scene hit me in the heart and it got me hyped. And then the other scene that got me, um, same, same scene. Well, it's a different scene, but different part when, uh, after Haku, uh, <laughs> my man Kakashi, uh, uh, Chidori, the hell out of Haku, and Haku was saving, um, Zabuza, kind of like the flip-flop of what happened to Naruto and Sasuke, you know, somebody, uh, took a death blow for somebody else and Naruto saw that Naruto was talking to Haku and Haku was like kind of like talking shit he did the kind of complete opposite of what Sasuke did it was like you know he was just a tool you know he was just there blah 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 and Naruto felt some kind of way like um how do you talk about him like that blah 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 and that was the best and I think that was I, that was that was uh, Naruto's first uh, talk new jutsu Naruto gave him them bars man them grown man bars and he said, oh, man, when he said that thing of that analogy about, like, we just a broke, you like, he's just a broken tool to be thrown, a, you know, uh, to be thrown away. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? And Naruto had the tears in his eyes, not, and Haku broke down. Not Haku, but Sabuza broke down. Naruto made that grown-ass, hard-ass man cry. He was like, he's like, yo, man, you told him, he said, man, your words cut deep, kid. He said, he said, he said, deeper than any sword or whatever he said, any weapon, he had the tears running out of his face. 
And he said, you know, we men just try to act like we ain't got hearts, but it, you know, it's inevitable we do. You know what I'm saying? And he showed his emotion. He cracked. Like Naruto made him crack, man. The man cried in grown man tears. And he talking about oh, Aku was always weak, you know what I'm saying? Nice. And now look at now he got me doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Cause he got emotional, just like Haku was, you know. He showed his emotions, man. He cried. The man wept. Yo, that was my, and you know, um, the other scene, this one got me too, man. The other one was when, uh, that fight between Gara and Naruto, and Naruto went in, and he finally knocked the, uh, my man, uh, Gara off of, uh, I forgot the name of that damn, the tail beast. He knocked him down, and they both were too beat up, and Naruto crawled, man, crawled by his chin to go talk to him. It's told him, and he did that whole, that epic ass speech about, um, you know, it hurts, you know, it hurt, doesn't it, being in that darkness and everything. And he let him know that I feel the same pain you feel. But look at the path you going down and look at the path I'm going down. He told him, he said it, he said this is the most epic thing he said, man. He said, um, listen up Sasuke fans, but this Naruto gave some real bars on this one, man. This real talk to Jutsu when he gave to Gara. He said, he said, I love these people that much, man. I do anything to protect them. Even if it means killing you. He said, I'm going to protect them, you know what I'm saying? So... So Gara was like, why like why do you care so much? You know? He was pretty much doing the same thing Naruto said to Sasuke. And it was not, now Naruto was in a different place in this time, you know what I'm saying? He was like, that was that character development. Naruto said, because they saved me from myself. And I was like, yo, that was ill. I love that right there, man. And then when he got up and he uh they uh his two friends, brother and sister came and got in Tamari, and I forgot the brother. They picked him up and they um, took away Gara and, Nar and Sasuke came and got a Naruto. And his first thing he did to his brother and sister said, yo, I'm sorry. And he had changed that character right then and there. Right then and there. That, that, that's them bars, man. That's a talk to Jutsu. So I was like, yo, that was that, that got me right there too. That was, a, that was an emotional scene. And then, okay, let's go to uh, Shippuden. Shippuden, the one that got me was um when... um. Actually, the same thing with Gara, man. A lot of things. Gara was a dope ass character. A lot of stuff happened around Gara. After Gara died, man, this gave this this gave me the this hit me in the heart, yo. And Gara had just died, man. And um, we all knew what Gara. By this time, we all know what uh, Naruto was and Drew Cherokee and all that. And you know they had the beast in them and everything. And uh, we learned like a lot more of the history of behind us. And he was like talking about how people used them and who gave them the right to like you know look down upon them and just use them as tools. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? It was it was just crazy. And he was saying, and he had the tears just running out of his face and he did a little sling around with his face and the tears just like, like shot his face like he had just got out the shower, the water flew. He was crying with grown tears, man. And Gar was laying there dead, man. And he was just sitting there, man. He just cried, man. He was just screaming. And I was emotional, man. And then when that old lady went down and she started healing Gar, but she, she didn't have no power. And Gar, Naruto put his hands on that little look. I got some energy. Just, you know, I got chakras. Take as much as you want. Pretty much, if he had to die to save Gar right there, he would have let that lady take all the chakra out till he died just to bring that friend back. And that always showed the level of what Naruto would go to to save somebody. And the lady took his energy and she started, what's called it? Then you look down and sacrifice, and everybody thought that she was sleeping. But then they realized that she was dead. Now Gar had lived. So it was like the end of a, the old era's dying and the new era's coming back up. So she got like resurrected the new era kind of like, um, Correcting one of her mistakes that the past had made by bringing Gara back to life and giving him another chance, and she died, you know, fans for pretty much the failures of the old, the past, and that was crazy, man. Everybody honored her, and uh, you know, over that grave site stuff, that was crazy. That was an emotional ass scene right there. They they hit your boy in the heart right there. All right, last one, Shaputin, my get hype moment. This was my get hype moment. Yo, this had me right. This got me right here, y'all. When, when Payne attacked Konoha, he crushed Konoha, man. I mean, he killed Kakashi, man. He had to, uh, Sana uh, what's the name? Sanadi wrecked. He was wrecking havoc on Konoha. Konoha. And then, um, Naruto Sasuke, uh, Sakura did that scream, Naruto! And that boy came out of nowhere like Superman and just crushed him too damn past the pain. And he looked up with those eyes like he'd been doing meth all night. That boy was hype, man. He was with the work. I mean, he came in like a a, a, a whirlwind, man. He was putting in work on everybody, man. I mean, as soon as he got there, he killed two pounds of pain with ease. Effortlessly just crushed them. Boom, they out the way. And he went to work, man. He started, and then he was doing the hand size and stuff, man. Oh, man. He just, he just came in just wreaking havoc on them boys, man. He was taking out them paths left and right with ease. 
with ease. They couldn't touch that boy. And I was like, yo, he just ran through him. And I was like, yo, that's how he, to me, that's when he became a hero. Because that, that was just crazy what he did. I just love the way he came in. He just came in and just handled business. He wasn't playing. He was killing them damn things. It wasn't, it didn't matter to him. They were getting crushed for what they did to Kona High. You know what I'm saying? And I, I loved it, man. I loved it. And then the end of that, you know, he defeated Pain and everything. And, t and he got acknowledged by the whole village. It's like, he didn't have to become Mokage. He already had his dream fulfilled. The village acknowledged him. You know what I'm saying? So he changed his things for let me be the acknowledgement. He, he changed his goal from not being Hokage for being acknowledgement because he realized what the title entailed. I got to say the village. It's not just a title to be... It's not. It's more than just a title. He realized that you got to do the work to be a Hokage. You know what I'm saying? So he wanted to be Hokage to protect the village, not just for the acknowledgement. He got that. He got that without being Hokage. He already did that thing. So those are my four. So what are yours, man? Say it in the comment section. And these are the people I'm going to tag because I'm really interested in what they're going to be saying. I got my boy, old school, my boy from way back. He don't talk to me that much no more because he big time now, man. Zaro Fanboy124. Hey, man, that's the guru, man. You still, hey, holla at your boy, man. My main man, my brother from another mother, King Fo, man. That's my dude right there, King Fo. Break master, break. Stop being lazy, man. Stop making videos, man. And my girl, Anna, the anime reviewer. Same thing. You've been doing little videos. You've been doing the Korra, man. Come back doing Naruto for us, man. And uh, got my girl. Oh, Luna Spiral. Luna, hey, don't forget about your boy. I know, I know you up there now, man. But man, you go back now. Uh, Blacky Chi on 1000. You still my man, Black. Let's do these videos. Oh, Subaki Swag, man. Subaki, man. She cool little girl. Cool chick, man. I'll let you. I'll let your boy, Subaki. Blaze Bolt Sniper was crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? He funny as shit, too. Blaze Boy, do it, man. Uh, this other chick, I stumbled upon her. She's real good, man. Um, Sun Patch 94, man. She does real good videos, man. Uh, I don't think she knows me on like, kind of a personal level, but I mess with her videos, man. Uh, if you got a chance, do the video, please. And uh, another young lady, she's real cool, man. Uh, you know, some girl, Jan Spice 6. <laughs> hey, do the video. You ain't do the video in a while now. You done did about two or three. You dropped off now. Do another one. Well, so those are my people I tagged. Um, so, we milking the series, man. You know how it is. Naruto's going about to end. Next week is the last chapters. So, hey, let's get it in. That's your boy. Peace. <laughs>